What is up? My name is Mashed Potato, and this is my server, the Silk Road. As you see here, this is a road, and it extends all the way to the ends of the map, going from the furthest negative X to furthest positive X. There's a frog. Um, so basically, this server, uh, as you see, it's not as pure as Purity Vanilla, and it's also not as extravagant as Rathnir, Stoneworks, anything like that. Um, that was clickbait. Um, but I wasn't completely wrong in comparing it to those two, and I'll explain. Basically, um, I was in search for a server that would satisfy a specific desire that I had to play Vanilla in its purest form, while not having to constantly be afraid of um, being griefed. So I was playing every different uh, survival server that I could, and a lot of them would always have things in place that made it way too easy. So, you know, like keep inventory on, or uh, mobs would be shut off, like hostile mobs, stuff like that. So, um, basically, uh, I kept looking, and then I found Purity Vanilla. Purity Vanilla was cool, but the fact that it had absolutely nothing in place kind of sucked because it, uh, whoop, it, uh, basically, uh, Purity Vanilla was cool, but the fact that it had absolutely no grief prevention in place kind of sucked because it made it to where, um, you know, uh, you'd be afraid to build anything. Um, it was also a huge map, so it was like a million by a million with only about 75 people online at a time or so. I did the math, that's about the size of Texas. So imagine accidentally running into someone, um, one out of 75 people, while just stumbling around Texas. Pretty unlikely, you know, it's hard to accidentally build a community. Uh, I played Rathnir uh, for a little bit, like a couple of days. Um, it's not that it was too complicated, but it was just, I don't know, servers that have too many plugins uh, come off to me as very messy and just all around not vanilla, like pure vanilla. So uh, this isn't pure vanilla again, of course, and I'll go over that. But that's just me explaining um, how I came to making my own server, because I simply couldn't find one that I wanted, so I made it. Um, so... Uh, so let me explain, uh, the land claiming. Um, it's, uh, the land claiming is, I'm using, uh, grief prevention. <clears throat> so you can kind of just look up grief prevention tutorials and it'll explain how to do everything. Uh, I've only made a few edits to the config files. Uh, instead of a golden shovel, it's a diamond shovel and you need to acquire it yourself. Um... You know, no set home or anything. Uh, again, you know, uh, there, there are no warps or, you know, keep inventories off, all that stuff. But anyway, um, so yeah, there's a, you have a thousand blocks that you can claim um, right off the bat once you have the shovel. Uh, I believe that's um, a thousand as in a thousand... Uh, not not considering like the Y value. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you claim the entire column from bedrock to sky. Um, or maybe it's only as high as you've built. Uh, you can look that up. I, I still need to kind of tweak everything to my specific desires. But anyway. Um, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, there's, there's no limit on how many claims you can have, but there is a limit on how much you can claim. So again, a thousand blocks. Um, and if you are not present at your claim, or even just not, yeah, if you're not present at your claim, it will disappear after 30 days, if you haven't been on it in 30 days. If you haven't been active on the server at all in 30 days, all your claims are getting deleted. The stuff's still going to be there, but it's not going to be claimed. Um, that's for the purpose of, you know, I don't want a bunch of people just putting claims everywhere and just screwing the game up. Uh, that was one issue I had with uh, Stoneworks. 
was uh, everywhere was claimed. Um, but uh, yeah, basically that's claiming. Uh, trading, so I'll go back to the origin, which by the way is where you will spawn every time you don't have a bed, right in the middle of the server, sweet and simple. Uh, uh, whoops. No uh, waiting room or queue or anything, um, for now anyway. Uh, you will just pop up immediately right in the middle of the server. And you have this tiny little guide. Over here it's explaining, you know, land claim, acquire diamond shovel, look up grief prevention, good luck. Over here uh, is the trading uh, plugin. So again, I know this isn't vanilla, but it's very simple. It's not like stores or anything. Um, and it still requires that you be in person to do this. So you have to be within five blocks of another player and you just type slash trade and then player's name. And that will invite them to uh, trade. So they'll accept, uh, do slash accept or they'll click on it. And then a GUI pops up kind of like uh, it would, you know, if you opened a, a chest and you simply both put your items in there that you want to trade. You both press, uh, I think it's like a green sand or something um, to accept. Uh, it does a countdown and then you switch. That's it. Uh, you could you could go without using this plugin and it would not really change your, the gameplay at all. It wouldn't put you behind or ahead. <coughs> um, basically, uh, uh, Sorry, I blinked out. Oh yeah, so you uh, you want to use this whenever you're in uh, a safe claimed land, you know? Uh, you could use this out in the wild, but nothing's stopping someone from locking you in a trade and having their buddy come around and kill you. And then they both take your stuff. Which, if you're a bandit, maybe consider that idea. It's a, it's a good idea. Um, if you don't want that to happen to you, only use this uh, plug in whenever you're on claimed land, non PvP zone, so that would be the entire Silk Road uh, up to about seven blocks, as well as, um, you know, your claimed land or someone else's claim. Um, yeah, basically. Um, it's just a, a good way to make sure that trading is safe, uh, but. <clears throat> Again, you have to be within five blocks of the player. Uh, there is no, uh, the server has no stores or crates or anything like that. So content, uh, this was actually supposed to be a live video. Um, I'm gonna idly travel in one direction. This was supposed to be a, a live video, but um, I immediately found out when trying to go live on YouTube that uh, it wanted me to wait 24 hours. I'm not sure why. Uh, I do plan on going live regularly, maybe once every week or two, to uh, showcase people's builds, to um, uh, just follow people around while they show whatever they want, basically. Um, so if you're going to be playing this, uh, if you're watching this, uh, and you want to be on TV, just let me know in the uh, Discord, which the Discord and the uh, IP are going to be in the description. Uh, but join the Discord and let me know in the Discord that you want me to fly around and watch you while you do stuff uh, live. Um, I will do that. And and then, you know, you could uh, use that as a means of inviting people to your settlement. Um, so, yeah, again, I plan on going live every couple weeks, uh, about every month. There's going to be something I call wartime. Um, I'm going to wait till there's more players. The current goal is 25 online at a time. Uh, once I hit that, then I will commence wartime. So every month or so, uh, well, it would be a regular interval uh, of about a month. <clears throat> there will be a period of time, let's say maybe an hour or so. We'll decide on this. Um, but there will be a period of time where certain sections of the map claims uh, are disabled. So maybe it could be half of the map. It could be stripes or checkers down the map. But uh, basically, um, it would disrupt your claims and allow people to PVP and break blocks. 
The point of this is to enable things like raids and wars. Um, uh, yeah, and that would be an awesome thing to uh, showcase live, because who doesn't like watching people kill each other uh, in a video game? Uh, I'm going to set it to daytime. Uh, actually, no, it's fine. <coughs> uh, yeah. Um, so that would make for good content, and it would also kind of add to the uh, vanilla element but it also kind of makes it like factions in a sense. Um, you're gonna, you know, it's gonna be ideal that you make friends, make alliances, uh, you know, become valuable, maybe make farms. Um, that way people want to protect you if your section, if some section of your claim becomes uh, unprotected for that period of time, you're gonna need to defend it or you're going to need to quickly transport your items to a safe zone um, you know so it's ideal that you have a friend group um, that is willing to protect your stuff and on the flip side um, it's ideal that uh, if you go on some raiding campaign that you're gonna want people to be with you you're gonna want a group um, so yeah, you know, if, if you want to lay siege on someone's town, or if you want to fortify your walls and uh, defend your town, um, you know, you're going to want a group of people to do that, and you're going to need to do that during wartime. And I'm going to be recording it. Uh, that is pretty much it as far as what makes this server unique. Um, you know, like I said before, it's it's mostly just vanilla. There's just a few small things, just temporary limited land claim that is susceptible to disruptions and a very simple trading GUI. Um, that's pretty much it. I'd love to see as many people come play the server as possible. Um, yeah, that's it. Enjoy.